Hey guys, Eric here with Project DIY. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this unit here behind me, this Hoss 500 right here. Okay, I have some videos I'm going to be showing you all how we got this off the trailer. We didn't use any equipment, and this thing weighs about 4,000 pounds. This, some of y'all that aren't familiar with it, this here's what I use to heat my house in the wintertime. Um, let's, let's open it up here and just show you. There's a puff of smoke. So what you got that goes on here, let's see if this will clear out enough. There's no fire really going right now, that's why it's so smoky and you have a little bit coming out the, the flue up there on the stack. Because what happens is when it's not calling, when it's reached the temperature, it just kind of sits idly. As you can see, I don't know if you can see how black everything kind of is. I said there's not because I just threw that in there, I just went ahead and stoked it. So that's what you got. But let me go back here and show you the brains of it. So what you have when it calls for temperature this right here is my fan there's a it says on and off okay so obviously it's on on back here on the back side we have the door comes open this here i had to rig i gotta get a switch it works it's just jerry rigged right now but anyways up to here so right here let me see if you can see okay there you go so right here, 145, that's the temperature I have. That is a, this is a thermostat. My 145 is what I have my water temp set at. 142 is what the current temperature is. So what it's gonna do, and then, and then here's your electric, everything's plugged in, okay? So what it's gonna do is that 145 is what I have it set at, and it's at 142 where you're like, well, why is it not kicked on right now? Well, the reason being is it has a five degree differential because if not every time it dropped a degree, you're, you're constantly gonna be kicking the fan off and on, off and on. So what that does is the thermostat and when it kicks, gets five below, so when it hits 140, it will go and it will kick that fan. Right here is your fan and what it's gonna do, it will pull that lever right there and it's gonna open it up and it will let air blow up underneath there. There's a metal grate. I don't know if you saw it when I was there. There's a metal grate underneath of it. Here's your metal grate right here, okay? And then this here is connected to the blower and air blows out the sides of this and blows up like that onto the fire which I just opened up it got some oxygen you can see the fire started already see how easily it starts that was just me opening the door that's all that that's all I did all right so back to this here so when that kicks in what it'll do this will kick in your fan which will blow the air out there it's all plugged into here it's all wired in this red thing here is a pump I have a video on how to replace that if you haven't watched it go check that out all this is a circulating pump this pumps your water your inlet and your outlet uh, here okay so that's pumping it out and then this one here is what brings it back and pumps it back in and this all it's constantly running like you can put your hand on it kind of feel that there's water you don't hear it it's very quiet but you can feel that there's water running through and these two white ones next year what I want to do is I'm gonna have this run for these I will hook up to another pump and then they will run over to my barn and I want to have heat in there it will be love so um, if you haven't watched my trencher video check it out here's kind of where we trenched before if you could see so the line set from here okay so there's my lines coming down below they come down they run through here I haven't got very good grass growing yet and it shoots across there goes in that door and then it shoots in goes into my furnace okay so that's how so what this is it pumps the hot water in goes into a heat exchanger and the thing I have some stuff I'm gonna show you goes into the heat exchanger pumps in it's like a giant radiator is what it is pumps into that and then it pumps it pulls it back in the blue pipe okay it's still hot but that's it's cooler what this one is and then that way when my furnace caught my thermostat says hey it's time for the heat to kick on it kicks the, I have mine set mine's a gas furnace but it's set to where the gas doesn't kick on it just kicks the fan on so that way it kicks the fan on blows across the heat exchanger which puts hot air at my house I do not have to heat the heat strips let's put it that way I'm still out the fan but I'd much rather run a fan any day than have to heat heat strips or pay for the gas so um, the only electric I'm out is the electric for my furnace in there and I'm out the fan every once in a while in here every once in a while when this kicks on however often obviously the colder it is the faster your temperature is going to drop and then obviously running that which that's a three speed so it's very very energy efficient very quiet you don't even hear it so that's all the electric amount and then obviously if you're going to do something like this you need lots of 
wood okay i have lots of it um stay tuned on some of my videos got coming up i tried doing it last year it just didn't pan out but i have all kinds of trees that need to come down like that one right there in front of me that one's coming down that's an old ash tree you might look at them and say oh well they're all dead well yeah it's winter time i have no leaves but anyways that one's dead these got to come down because like i said stay tuned i always got something going on i'm going to hopefully this spring i want to last spring it didn't work out but i'm going to be putting a carport on the side of this here just all open just a carport nice it's attached to the house where we can park our two cars and then like that there that's already dead it's coming down that's dead it's coming down that right there is dead it's coming down that's dead two of those in there are dead one up by the road's dead we have a bunch of ash trees um here where we're at and there's some kind of beetle or bug that come through and killed a bunch of them so i'm taking them down and i need the firewood anyways so i just give you an overview of what i was getting at is you got to have lots of wood if you're going to do this or be able to get it from somewhere maybe you don't have it but some people might know maybe you know a tree guy or just somebody that has lots of woods and don't care if you come out and cut it up i mean that's all cool as long as you have access to it you can make one of these run you make it work it's just a whole lot cheaper than having to pay for gas having to pay for electric heat we were burning inside we have an insert and we was burning as much as we could and we still had like $400 electric bills and I was like I just can't do this so we had went this route I had one in my other house and we sold it moved here so I want to get another one because it, it just keeps the house so much warmer if you feel cold guess what you go up hit the button on the thermostat crank it up as warm as you want it and you don't have to feel guilty be like man this is gonna cost me an arm and a leg you just go push the button so and another good thing with these two you can get by with smells great outside when you do you can burn pine you can burn cedar it doesn't matter what you burn in here because you ain't got to really worry about catching your house on fire i mean it, it could corrode that up a little bit but you can get up there and just clean it out if that if it does happen it's not a big deal it's not on your house and catch your chimney on fire because you definitely do not want to do that in your personal house so that's another advantage to using these you can pretty much burn for the most part you can burn just about anything in them so uh real quick let me go down just what this is this is a the house 500 they actually don't make this one anymore i bought it off somebody from facebook i was actually wanting a 400 but this here the 500 it holds 500 gallons of water the 400 holds four they had a 300 they even have i think a 600 but now i think they pretty well just stick to the 400 because they said that kind of seems to be the magic one that everybody wants guys i hope this is some useful information for you if you're looking into doing something like this i mean it's it's not too terribly hard i mean don't me wrong there's some stuff you gotta think out and make sure you do it right Make sure you have plenty of wood, but these right here, they save you a ton of money. They really do. They're great products. This one here, I love it better than the one I had before at my other house, actually. It's doing a much better job. I'm only loading this about once a day right now. I usually load it at night before I go to bed, and then I don't have to check it in the morning, and then I just check it again, like I said, about 24 hours, and uh, it's been doing great. So, guys, if you would, check out the channel like my videos share the videos you know i mean i got tons of stuff coming i've got some really cool stuff so if you would subscribe guys and as always why hire a guy when you can diy thanks for watching